miniature train cars is all about the details. Every feature is scaled down to a fraction of the size of the real thing, and nothing is too small to replicate. Because each train car is just like the real McCoy, it's more than just a toy, it's a collectible. On a miniature train track, the past comes full circle with replicas of trains from days gone by. They start with historical photos and drawings of actual train cars and scale them down to 1 48th size. They feed polystyrene pellets like these to an injection molding machine. It melts the pellets into a thick paste. The four sections of a mold close and nozzles pump the plastic into it. It oozes into all the grooves and hardens almost instantly into the shape of a train car. Then they clip off excess plastic. Here's a view of how the four parts of the mold come together to shape melted plastic into a boxcar. They even make holes in the boxcar to attach accessories. And they impress details like ridging that mimic the steel ribs of the original life-size train car. Using other molds, they replicate door rails, brake wheels, and other accessories. The assembler clips the parts off the framework and files down the rough sections. That's the brake wheel she's snapping onto the end of the model. Using a hobby knife, she trims excess plastic from the train car step. She then glues a steel weight to the bottom of the train car to make it 1 48th the weight of the real thing. Making something to scale is a bit of a balancing act. Finally, she attaches air brake tanks to the underframe of the car. And it's time to spray paint the model train car, vivid orange. It's a color that would have been used on an actual box car, combined with white. For that two-toned look, they hold the model in a paint shield to protect the sections that are to remain orange as they spray the sides white. This technique ensures the paint job has clean lines. They leave the car to dry overnight. Other train cars receive a less flashy paint job. This car is basic black and it's the perfect canvas for white lettering. A pad picks up the ink from letter engravings on a printing plate and transfers the image to the car. Metal wheels now roll off a revolving conveyor. They funnel into mechanisms that press fit them onto each end of metal axles. The wheel and axle assemblies drop into a bin below. Two sets of wheels are now installed on a plastic framework. They attach the framework to a coupler, the device that links train cars. They screw the four wheels and coupler assembly onto one end of the car and they install another one on the other end. snap the couplers together to connect two train cars. In the world of train models, a little grime is just fine. They make it look dusty on purpose by misting the model with paint. 